Have you ever wanted to capture things and just be able to save them into your phone or your browser? Well, there are loads of different apps and they're called bookmark apps and they can help you to organize all of these different links, articles, even newsletters in one location. Today, we're gonna to dive into some of the best bookmarking apps on the market right now. Today's video is kindly brought to you by Craft. Craft is a powerful documents application that turns your documents into stylish experiences that you can use every single day. So there are three features I want to focus on very briefly before we dive into this video. The first of those is tasks and calendar. This allows you not only to organize your documents, but now your tasks and your daily notes in one location. Next up is collections. A new database function will help you to organize any of your ideas or your entries. And finally, page styling, which means you can share pages externally and make them look amazing. You can find Craft below and thanks to the team for sponsoring today's video. So first on my list is a software called Raindrop. Now, Raindrop is a beautiful application and it's fairly reasonably priced too, but it allows and works on all devices. And you can capture anything from an article to a bookmark for later. And what's quite nice about it as well is it has this feature called collections for organizing into more detail with some lovely icons to help you organize them in your fashion, whatever it may be. Now, Raindrop is also got a premium, which does have AI suggestions. So it determines what you like and starts to pull together those elements. So next up is Glasp, and this one is more of a PDF and web clipper, but it also adds a layer of social on top of it. So you can use Glasp and install it on Chrome and basically clip things across your day. And what's really nice is as part of the free account, you can clip it to your account, which means that you can view your highlights from later, which means you can clip mini stuff on the web, like a small statement or quote, and also you can capture an entire PDF as well. But what I quite like about Glasp is the social side of it which means you can start uh, bringing together some of your thoughts, quotes, and the experiences that you've had all into your account. And it has a beautiful community, which you can bring stuff into your own Glasp account as courtesy of other people, which means they can create lists. And it's really this idea of sharing knowledge that is really, really powerful. And so many people use sites like this to help you to collaborate and bring ideas together. In the premium, you can access a private Glasp account, which means you can bring your summaries and break down lists so they're not shared publicly to your account. Next up is Readwise. This is quite a well-known one. Readwise is a big player in the space and it is more of a premium experience, priced slightly more expensive than the, some of the other options on the market. But why a lot of people like this is there's a feature in it that helps you to recall certain things. For example, if there's a quote that you've learned or something you want to recall every single day, a little bit like flashcards, which can help you to bring back information and keep it fresh to mind as you're learning new things. But there's also a reader type experience, which is part of beta right now, but it gives you a really gorgeous experience that allow you to have a sort of superhuman style application to reading all of the stuff that you're bringing in across a day. And it connects with other popular note taking apps like Notion and Obsidian as well. So next up is one called Matter. This one's available on the browser and also through iOS as well, but it is a beautiful application that a lot of people tend to find. They like for newsletter and for articles as well. This one will allow you to clip stuff and bring it directly into the app, but also have newsletters arrive in there too. It's a beautiful experience and a lot of people like this for the aesthetic appeal. Now, next up is a really well-known one. It's called Pocket. And it's available pretty much through all devices, but Pocket is a popular one, not so attractive as other apps on the list like The Reader, By Readwise and Matter, but it does get the job done. It's a widely available app and it does come with a really easy to use experience that does help you to capture on a wide range of devices. Finally, on our list is one called Eleven Reader. This is from an AI company called Eleven Labs, which are developing lots of different ways to capture and bring together information using their audio descriptive technologies. So for example, with this app, you can bring together PDFs, newsletters, text, whatever it may be, even podcasts from popular people like Andrew Huberman. And essentially from here, you can use this with an AI voice, which you can choose from to read it to you as you go about your day. And it's trying to con 
condense information, make it smarter, and improve the way that you're listening to that. So a consideration with a iOS and Android app, this one's free to download and worth checking out if you're interested. So thanks very much for stopping by. Thanks to Craft for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in Craft, you can find a link below. If you're looking for more bookmark type apps like this, you can jump over to toolfinder.co if you're interested. We have loads of tools that are gonna help you to get things done and also to save things across your day. Thanks very much and I'll see you all in a future video. So do make sure to subscribe, like and comment with the bookmark app that you use today. Thanks very much. See you soon.